Ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow lions, how are you all? What a nice looking group. Welcome to the San Francisco Coordinating Council of Lions Club and the Peninsula Council of Lions Club in the Joint Council Installation. Please stand and join a past president of the San Francisco Council, past district governor, Lydia Taylor Bellinger. She will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Well, you're already standing, so I have to ask you to do that. Gentlemen, if you're wearing a hat, please remove your hat. If you're in the military, when we start, you'd like to salute your brother well, to do that. We ask everyone else to place your right hand over your heart, and we will now say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. Thank you, Pastor Mr. Governor. And sorry, I'm interrupting the program for a brief announcement. Um, for the benefit of those who can't attend today, we are closing this meeting over Zoom as well. So this is your notice, and this meeting is being recorded. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President August. And now for our patriotic song, please have our second Vice District Governor, Kevin Kess, come up and lead us in Hilltowns. Good morning, and to me, God bless America. Oh, bless America, let the one go, set beside her, and guide her through the night with my power, from the mountains to the prairie. To the oceans, white with long. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Thank you, the second vice district governor, Kevin Guest. And now for the invocation, Lion Nanny Pahe, a present, past president of the San Francisco Council. Fellow lions and guests, let us bow our head in remembrance of the lions who has gone before us and presently. The loss of our beloved Lion Helen Abidi. Let us pray for the victims and families affected by the fires in Nixon and Tundra and the flash floods in LA, New Jersey, New York. God, Please protect us as we continue to serve our community in the spirit of service from the heart. Dear Father, we ask for your blessing and also for our leaders. May they inspire us and so we inspire each other with our potential as individuals. May we ask as a united people, move with clear, directed purpose to help build a better future for our humankind. May you guide us and show us 
how to conduct our work in the spirit of joy and enthusiasm. Bless our officers of the San Francisco Coordinating Council of Mines Farms and the Peninsula Council of Lions being installed this evening. Enlighten and strengthen the resolve so that you can help prepare them. Face their challenges with dignity and kindness that befits a true liar. Amen. Thank you very much, my Manny. And now, please welcome Peninsula Council Advisor, past District Governor Mario Benavente, who will introduce the dignitaries this evening. Okay, so anyway, um, everyone's been here. So, for just to start things out, you know, we just please have all the lines in here. Please raise your hands or stand up. So, here they come. Lions, please stand up. All right, let's hear from Lions.
right is stable. To my far right is, uh, I mean, uh, Secretary of Peninsula Council of um, Lions Club, Secretary Lion Community Eline, Sharon, you doing okay? Yeah. I saw in the chat that there was someone typing inappropriate messages, so I'm I'm glad that yes. they left. I wanted I to tell to, you about that. I don't know how to delete it, but I'm I'm glad they're not here anymore. That's all I can say. Jeez. Yeah, it was awful. I think I think you have my number, so you can text me if something. Well, you know, it's just it's it's hard to deal with when I'm up there. But oh yeah, I'm sure. Good, yeah, good thing they're gone, and you know, I thankfully I did set it up so they can't unmute themselves. So that's the that's the worst damage they could do is just post some stuff in the chat, and of course on the recording, no one's gonna see it. So, okay, yeah. hope you're having a good time. Hope, sorry you couldn't get the food. It's pretty good. Well, I've only had the salad so far. <laughs> 
And, and so one thing, I will, I will uh, hold you up or hold the laptop up when it's your turn to be installed. So at that time, you can turn on your camera if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. All right. Have fun. Yep. Sharon, this is Ryan Michael. Can you hear me? I just wish you well. Can't hear too much. Too noisy here, but okay, so I'll see you one day. Okay. I think you're checking seeing us on Facebook, right? Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi. Hello.
Looks good. I got the salmon. It looks real nice. Where's Okay, I'll put you back. Installation. trying to get this thing over before midnight. Okay. 
and you align the team? Do you think that alliance said yes? I would like to give you a short bio of our district governor. District governor Dr. Kim has been a lion for 17 years with the San Francisco Real Alliance Club. He will be the first district, oh, he is the first district governor of San Francisco Villa in his 50 year of service, which will be sometime in November. So watch for it. They're going to have an anniversary. He's the head of the family of the Valera family, which includes him, Ayun Melissa, Ayun Ayun August, and the Yulayan Esther. His team for his family is the family that serves together, stays together. And his team this year as a servant leader is family, which is an acronym for fostering, fostering a more involved lion in you. Lion Dr. Yun and Lion Lisa are both medical frontliners. Their family continues to say and serve because they do believe that where there is a need, there is a lion. The motto is her, is their way of life. Dr. Yun's inspiring, inspiring life story as a humble immigrant from the Philippines was a subject of a documentary sponsored by the State Department. So I guess you could Google that. 32 months in his governorship, and he has led the multiple district four and the constitutional area one in membership. So we are at the top right now. The enthusiasm of the Lions and of the members of the district is quite okay to so that watch for more good things to happen in our district. He's a practicing physician, certain, and a clinical instructor, certain, and he mentors students and goes to the meetings regularly for his three medical missions where he did perform surgery. He's also a graduate of the Regional and Advanced Lions Leadership Institute. And he will soon be receiving his doctor doctorate at the UFA Canada Forum in Iowa. Tonight is a very historical event for him, being that he's going to install both the San Francisco Council and the Peninsula Council, especially that the president of the San Francisco Council is his Leo Lion's son, Lion August. So, my fellow Lions and guests, please rise to welcome our district governor, Dr. Julius Valera. <laughs> So I mean it's hard to option, but I'm going to say my piece before I can start the So Philip just said that the business has said that not only have this is a historical event, because I think this is the first uh, joint uh, installation of this I don't know if this happened in the past. And it is also a uh, historical because we have a city, uh, the national director, since 60 years ago. And I am the historic officer as the servant leader for the district uh, governor uh, during the time of the golden anniversary of my club. And I have the first visit of our okay, uh, And to add it up, 
is I was a historic officer of my son. He will be the uh, as president of the service. As Henry Ford says, coming together is beginning. Joining together is a progress. And working together is a success. So I think this is a, uh, this is a success. Because it puts a big work together. Together as one to score. Because we believe in family. We are all family. And again, it's also my big question for fostering a more involved higher in you. However, you can see that the two councils are very distinct, very unique. You can see on the right side they have their own uh, uniform, and the other side they have their own uniform. Very unique, and uh, they, they have their own characteristics. If that is a mind of my way, there should all, also be a my district, my, my council, my way, within the bounds of our district, constitutional values. So I think that proves that they are different and yet the same. And they are the same because the passion is a community. So let, let us start with the inspiration. If these minors, leaders, are not newbies, they are, they are, are in fact, they are not future leaders, they are already artistic leaders. Whether you like it or not, they are leaders. <laughs> and they prepare, they know they did, they did, they, they know they did functions because they progress. In fact, uh, the elected position, the uh, elected position is only the, is the, I think, the president. The secretary goes to, to become the first, uh, second, meeting, second, meeting, first, 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 So they're all there. So again, I would like to ask all the officers of uh, both councils, I will see, you know, 20, 20, 20, 21 to set up. And this is all of you. You are now filled by relief of your duty for I will see here 20. Thank you for your service. Now we are going to start the installation of officers for Rice 2021 to 2022. So I have the list here. Let's start from the treasurer. Lion King and Francisco of San Francisco, China, in Iceland, Lion Kevin Van Ness of Peninsula, Iceland. Lion King and Lion Kevin, you have been elected to serve. Your council as treasurer will you manage the collection of council dues and the constitution of all councils, receipts, and expenditures. Give me part of the fulfillment of duties in meeting with recognized and accepted business and financial facts. Will you as treasurer of council perform all of your duties? As provided by your council, so the government's best ability. If so, please, I will. Say, I will. I will. I will. You, you are now installed as council. For a second time. For a second time, is our. I am already in the middle. Of San Francisco and of China, and Lion Uni Party of Path. Lion Uni and Lion Party Council Secretary. Will you maintain all of your members of the council submit reports to the district? Will you serve as a traffic? Oh, I'm sorry. Will you perform Council Secretary? 
Thank you. I just need to say one thing. Uh, the Peninsula Council Alliance have a very special pin for their president and past presidents that was designed and created by Lion Scott Mercer. He has to be. So I just wanted to acknowledge him because in my exception acceptance speech, I was going to say how much he's been my PCL mentor. And we are amiss that he was not noted as a past president on the program tonight. And I'm very sorry. And have a safe evening. <laughs> Most, the, the person that helped me most would be my 
of the house. Right now. Yeah. Do. Carl. 
is a past principle. That's my plug, and PCO is in our lives. To Martha Sandy and Danny Kelsey, your dedication, spearheading the 55th and 56th annual police and fire wars this past June was well received with a lot of accolades. I had people emailing me and saying how well and what advice the event was. So we need to not forget PCL. Our main focus is on those in the front line. They're outstanding service and to honor them for service, heroism, and power. So we hope that on March 25th, 2022, we will be back at the Crown Plaza in person for our 57th police and fire course. I'm almost done. When I first approached Lion in August, many months ago, and suggested that we do a joint installation tonight, he kind of looked at me and said, white jackets and Hawaiian gear? How is that going to work? And I had a lot of people saying, Wendy, it's, what are you doing? But look at the room tonight. We look good, okay? And it doesn't matter. Because we're all here together. After Zooming for a year and a half, like Peter talked about, we need to be here to celebrate. We are our committees, two councils, but we remember we need to remember our purpose is to communicate, exchange ideas between clubs and furthering Lionism. I wanted to start this year with camaraderie amongst all of the clubs that are here tonight in both councils. Tonight is a good start for us to celebrate and have fun. And Lion Scott, I will always remember this too. Not only do we serve, but we have to remember to have fun. So have fun tonight, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> the next is the uh, acceptance speech of the San Francisco Coordinating Council President Levi August. Happy for that. It will also be the presentation of the delegation to the Vice President. Thank you. I am going to pass the San Francisco Coordinating Council. Well, and Bravo to the now President August the Thank you for the past question. Yeah, good work. <laughs> and what Peter means actually is that this bell is now her responsibility to make a field trip, which already happened last this year. <laughs> anyway, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to all of those who supported us tonight. Of course, everyone in attendance today and everyone who helped make this event possible. Um, and that, of course, includes PCL President Benicia, who really started the ball rolling with his joint council installation. And how was it? Did everyone enjoy being together? Because really, without, without her, this wouldn't be possible. So, thank you. And it's it's very interesting, right? like Dr. June said, like Mr. Governor Dr. June said, to have two councils so different from each other, all you know, normally doing their own thing, but coming together and serving together and celebrating together. And that really is, though. The point of all these council meetings from our committees to bring together a very diverse group of Lions clubs. You know, the San Francisco Bay Area is a very diverse place to live in. Uh, well, all sorts of ethnicities, all sorts of religions, all sorts of occupations. And the same goes true to our different Lions clubs. We all serve in different ways. We, we serve our own neighborhoods, we serve our own sort of each group, we serve our specialty, um, you know, we're, we're doing all sorts of things, 
but the San Francisco Council and of course the Peninsula Council is the place for us to come together, learn from each other, hear what we're doing, and really get help if we need it. Because we know that there's always more and there's always a need for more hands to serve. All of us have projects that we're doing. And some of us may, may be lacking that, but maybe all have hands to serve and come to the council meeting and we'll make your, your thing happen. Um, I would like to, of course, not forget to thank our meeting past president, Peter Lamb, who had a very interesting year last year, but did a great job in sort of powering through and not having a single physical meeting until right now. So we really like to recognize his efforts to keep the council meeting every every month since, since the pandemic started. Thank you. I'd also like to thank my three advisors, of course, PDG advisors, uh, PDG Eugene Chan, who's our MC for tonight, PDG Larry Wong, and then PDG Esther I don't know where you are, but I appreciate you wherever you are. Um, and lastly, um, no, I think that's it. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> of course, of course. I, I couldn't do it without him. And I, I honestly, I take it for granted because, as you know, the Lara family unit is hard at work this year. Thank you. I'm going to bring this uh, microphone to our Thank you. 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 And then later on, I know it's great to share uh, my own Twitter. I know. Okay, so at this time, I'd like to bring to the microphone of Bruno to introduce the Bruno. First, my sister, Governor John. Uh, thank you. I want to take an opportunity to plan a seat for the two houses. When I become governor, I want you to think about multi club installation. Big today, okay? Think about it. And I'm sorry for introducing my leadership to my governor. You. I'm just being honored to introduce the next speaker. I am Kena Vera was elected to serve as international director of Lions Club International at the Association's 103rd International Convention on June 29, 2021. I am Kenya was born and raised in San Francisco and the Peninsula. He has lived in San Francisco for over 40 years and is a practicing architect for 27 years. He served as a city councilman for the city of San Bruno for 22 years. Lion King joined the San Bruno Lions Club in 1992 and served as club president in 1997. He is a three time Lion Leader of the city. Club. At the district level, Lion King has served as zone chair, region chair, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> in 2009, Lion King was elected to serve as district governor for this proceeding. In this model, it's up to you. Encourage every line to return their own commitment to our association. In 2014, Lion King was appointed to the same global leadership team. Providing support, training, and opportunities for the leadership growth and development to the land of California. He provided training sessions at many state conventions, nine leadership institutes, and numerous visits to the district. I can have supported and trained over 500 aspiring line leaders for 
throughout California. I intend to graduate of the MD4 Language Institute, the LCI Faculty Development Institute, and the LCI Faculty Development Excellence Series. He has attended all the international conventions and all the USA and Africa. He has been a presenter at one international convention and three USA and four. In recognition of your service, I intend to receive numerous awards, including international president award, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I think of my name is Charles President of the Bay Area Special Olympic Dance Club, a collective world form, and been together for over 22 years. All I can get from my name is the President of the Club, all of the Club, the Spirit, the Spirit, and 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 the That's what I made you feel bad. I'm John, you gotta read the audience. You get a lot more blah blah blahs. Thank you. Uh, it's nice you got a roll tonight, but don't forget, it's all about me tonight. About me. Oh, me. Me. That's me. All right. This is Dr. June. Good job tonight. Fellow lines and guests. Uh, the last time I asked was asked to speak at a council installation was four years ago when Lion Mariah was taking over the PCL. On that night, like tonight, I knew exactly what I wanted to say and even address both councils that same night. So tonight is like a rerun. So we get these speeches and I just change the dates and change the rate. Thank you. They are special. Uh, I'm very proud to say that I've always been a strong supporter of both councils. Uh, I remember attending my first PCL Police and Fire Awards in over 20 years ago. It was an intimate gathering with less than 100 guests, and it was held downstairs at the old Villa Hotel in San Mateo. Uh, I think my Paul was there, uh, my Rich, uh, Emo might have been there, Mike might have been there, yeah. Uh, the fortunate, uh, when I was district governor in 2010, there were over 500 guests attending the Police and Fire Awards with guest speaker on Lisa Weiss. I remember attending San Francisco Council meetings when there were less than 10 attendees at their meetings. I think uh, me and Bill Stepinovich were at one of those meetings, right? And then the Peace Officer Award Banquet was in the small room in the back of Patty Lesbiol. In those days are long gone now, as attendance has grown to require a large following. I, like you, look forward to these in person events where we can socialize more, building friendships, and sharing ideas. However, I truly want to commend the leadership of the councils for their determination and dedication to maintain throughout this pandemic. Let's again congratulate and thank immediate past Council President Debbie Kilty and Peter Lowe, our student presidents. Well, let me get back to what I said uh, four years ago. I stated that as a San Bruno Lion, it was always a challenge to convince my fellow members to attend the monthly PCO dinner meetings. I would be told that it's not worth it. It's just another meeting. One doesn't get anything by attending too many reports. I would somewhat agree, but then I always enjoy seeing my fellow lions, no matter how many attended. It was only when our very own lion, Marty, agreed to be a PCL officer and eventually president 
that our club started to attend regularly. For the last few years, there has been an ongoing concern to encourage club attendance at the council meetings, where regularly less than half of the clubs attend each council. That evening and tonight, I offered a few suggestions. Number one, the PCL and San Francisco Council are coordinating councils. More times than not, they do not coordinate. Not only do events conflict at the same days and times, how many events can a line be expected to attend in one given weekend? There needs to be better coordination and communication between the councils and the clubs, between the two councils, and between the councils and the district government. I do compliment the San Francisco Coordinating Council and our current district governor for creating the multi club installation, which significantly makes a difference on capital. Number two, the council meetings need to be both social and informative. And I don't mean informing each other about their own clubs' past or upcoming activities. That's for a newsletter or social media communication. Some of the best times of the evening are just socializing amongst ourselves. It can also be facilitated where a couple topics are proposed for us to share and discuss amongst each other. If you want attendance to increase, you need to make the evening both social and worthwhile. Why not have a short program related to violence and numerous topics that are related? It's been done a few times, but not. On existing basis. I'd like to think if you promote it, they will come. Number three, why not relocate some of these meetings? You complain about how expensive it is in restaurants. Wouldn't an outdoor dinner meeting be changed? Maybe at a park where there's actual parking? The locations of some of our meetings really need to be considered. But I'll leave that to the leadership. More power to these joint council events. They can be and should be made part of. So this is good. This is really good. So okay, so we have a pandemic, and Zoom is not the same as in person. And I believe both councils have been fairly satisfied with the turnouts of the last year. That as our lives can say we become better, we will be meeting more in person. Will the councils take heed to my suggestions, or will they get back to what was happening pre-pandemic? I have a proposal, Listen up. a proposition, more of an idea for some good natured competition between the councils. I propose the Lion Cans Council Award for Club Participation, or maybe we call it Lion Cans Our Council is Better Than Yours Award. <laughs> All in good natured fun. Starting next month, we will track how many clubs attend our respective council meetings. Since the San Francisco Council has now 30 clubs, and the PCL has only 26 clubs, a percentage of clubs will be calculated. At the end of the year, one council will have writing rights. But more importantly, more importantly, hopefully, there will be a marked improvement in how many clubs attend. I'll leave it to the new leadership to determine how to keep them coming back each month. That's my pitch. That's my two cents and my inspiration for club and membership success. More coordination, more social interaction and sharing, more history, more effective information, more variety equals more attendance, and yes, more fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay, well, wasn't that fun? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so how did everyone enjoy tonight? Woo! Woo! Yes! Let's give a shout out to uh, Office City Vice President, I Michelle, the party will be new. We're going to continue to party here tonight. Let's hear it. Uh, we'll have the musical offerings of the DJ by Jimmy Ness. And um, I've also been asked to announce that the centerpiece of the table are for sale.
I'll give five dollars and you can bring us a big check. Where are you Some are already sold. Okay, they have cards that they've already been sold. Anyway, tonight has been a wonderful night. Uh, we have two wonderful councils that have been installed by our wonderful district governor, Ryan. We've heard from the National Director, Ken Ibarra, and we had the great pleasure of having you all here to join us tonight, and it's been great to meet. So, I think we're going to have a German from our two presidents. Yes? Can you, can you ring the bell scanner? Okay, you have, you have a doubt? Five, four, three, two, one. We're adjourned. for joining us. Hope you're able to experience all of that. What do you think? Right. I, think I think you're asking me to meet on Zoom. Do you want the sound of people who are going to do something to show up? Okay. Well, okay, thanks, Slate Sharon. We're going to sign off now. Have a, have a great rest of your evening. All right.